The leader of a Mexican drug cartel sentenced to life in federal prison today here in Waco, 38-year-old Juan Trevino Chavez was found guilty of buying and selling cocaine and marijuana, trafficking guns, and money laundering. Fox 44's Anna Thrash live tonight in Waco. She was in the courtroom during that sentencing. Now, the amount of drugs likely played a big role in the decision tonight. Prosecutors say Trevino Chavez shipped close to a million pounds of cocaine and marijuana, and some of that was seized right here in Waco, and that's why his trial and sentencing took place right here at the federal courthouse. U.S. Attorney Russ Leachman says Kiko Trevino Chavez is the highest ranking leader of the cartel Los Zetas to ever be tried and sentenced in the United States. He said Trevino Chavez's actions had horrific consequences on the country and the case is much more significant than any typical drug case. The evidence was, uh, uh, indicated that this particular defendant was responsible directly and had involvement in facilitating the importation of somewhere around a quarter million uh, kilos of cocaine. Uh, the estimates and value of that was in the billions. A federal jury found Trevino Chavez guilty in July in Waco. Prosecutors say he was tried in Waco because over 45,000 pounds of marijuana and substantial amounts of cash were seized from North Waco homes. Prosecutors say Trevino Chavez sent some of those drugs to the Escobar cartel in Laredo, while some went to Dallas. There, there was a distributor for the Zetas that was located in Dallas. He testified that more than 30,000 kilos of cocaine came right up through the I-35 corridor through Waco. Along with the life sentence, Trevino Chavez must also pay a $2 million fine. Officials hope the sentencing will bring a warning to drug traffickers. We're working on it. The cases will be put together, and those that, that traffic in these kinds of in weapons and, and drugs and money uh, will be caught and will be prosecuted. Trevino Chavez's sentencing does put an end to a majority of the case for these U.S. attorneys, but they say there are still many fugitives out there with connections to this cartel who are still at large. Live at the federal courthouse, Anna Thrash, Fox 44 News.